World Liberty TV. We are here, with Mr. Uh, Robert Shalinaw. He is the CAO of Stony Brook Southampton Hospital, Chief Administrative Officer. Tell us what your role is and uh, how this merger got got to be done. Serving as president of Southampton Hospital Association and CEO is now CAO of Southampton for the past 13 years. Working together with Stony Brook over the years, we formalized the merger two years ago, a way to put together two of the hospitals in the community and create better health care. Under your uh, auspices, what are some of the new services you're offering at the uh, joint venture? We've, we've worked on with Stony Brook. We have a brand new vascular surgery program at the hospital. Uh, a year and a half ago we, uh, we started a cardiac catheterization program where we're able to treat people having heart attacks with a cardiac cath. We've just opened a brand new state-of-the-art cancer center in, uh, in Southampton, freestanding cancer center offering radiotherapy and chemotherapy. And we have a number of new uh, teaching programs that we've offered to train the next generation of healthcare providers. You're also the president and CEO of the um, uh, Southampton Hospital. Uh, can you tell us a little about that? What, what do you exactly do? What is your duties there? Southampton Hospital Association, which is the historical owner, essentially. It's a voluntary charity, the historical owner of the hospital. And I serve as the uh, president of the, of the board. The hospital is partnered with Stony Brook. function is Stony Brook's on-site administrator and uh, lead the uh, hospital association from the perspective of fundraising, managing the facilities, and outreach to the community as well. Now this gala raises a good amount of funds also for your um, um, organizations. Um, tell us what's happening tonight. I know our good dear friend Gene Shafaroff is the uh, chair and Martin is both are going to be honored. And tell us what else is going to be happening tonight, sir. Great. Well, the, the gala is the summer party. It's the biggest party in the Hamptons. This is our 61st annual party. Typically raises between a million and a half and two million dollars a year. All of the proceeds go to support emergency services for the community, um, keeping the operating room open even in the quiet months or, uh, winter months. Uh, the gala will be spectacular. There's a wonderful cocktail hour. There's a chance for all of the the major luminaries of the Hampton scene to gather together to celebrate uh, summer, to celebrate. Um, all of what the healthcare scene is doing out here, and then a wonderful dinner and uh, dancing, the food. We've got Larry Scott Entertainment, um, or uh, uh, caterers, and uh, we have an absolutely wonderful spread and a beautiful, beautiful tent inside waiting for everyone. What would be the website for people to go onto to learn a little more about uh, your organization? Right. Uh, the website would be Southampton Hospital at Stone. If they Google Stony Brook Southampton Hospital, they'll find our website. Thank you, World Liberty TV, for being here and all the good work you're doing publicizing events such as ours. And we're uh, very happy to work. You're here. Dr. Abi, executive producer of World Liberty TV, we're with Ms. Jean Shafaroff and Mr. Martin Shafaroff. They are being honored at the Southampton Gala. You've been with this organization a long time. Tell us why you got involved with this organization, Jean. Yes, the Southampton Hospital serves a very large community of 25,000 people. And we turn no one down. We are for everybody. So I believe we must work with organizations that help the people. Now you're getting an award for your um, long service and contributions and philanthropy and co-chair. Tell us about the feeling. I mean, you, I mean, you, we couldn't get you off from the banner there. There were so many people who wanted to take pictures with you. They love you as a person. They love your philanthropy, like as I do, and your humanitarian elements. Well, tonight we're really here to honor those that work in the hospital, the doctors, the administration, the nurses, everyone involved in this hospital. So my husband and I as honorees salute everyone involved here. We love Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. We are honored to be honorees, but as an honoree, it is our obligation to help out even more. Gene is the uh, chair of the event as well as 
the uh, honorary along uh, husband uh, Martin what else would you like to share with us about this wonderful gala I think it's one of the the most well attended gala here in the Hamptons actually my first time being here um, one of the most well attended galas you have so many dignitaries so many people from all fields and all sectors I want to thank everyone who supported tonight's gala and all those who support healthcare around the world. Thank you very much for your interview. It is a great honor to be involved here. And we have 700 people with us tonight. We are sold out. So just by that alone, we know that we have a group, a community of wonderful people who really care about healthcare and Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. Thank you very much. World Liberty TV, hello.